everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel in today's video i thought it'd be super fun to do a first impressions of all of the new skincare that i recently picked up from sephora we have a lot to go through so i'm very excited obviously i do know that skincare works over time so i wanted to film this video doing my first impressions and seeing how the products feel initially and then in a few months kind of film another video about how those skincare products are working for me or kind of like a rating my empties video i've seen those types of videos floating around and i think, think it'd be really fun to do one of those but this video is just going to be my initial reaction of all of the skincare products and then again i will do a follow-up on all of the skincare in the future and i also just want to say i know all of these products you don't usually use all together but just for the purpose of this video i'm going to be putting a lot of skincare on my face so to any of the professional estheticians out there i know that you're technically not supposed to put this much skincare on your face at one time but it's just for the video so also you guys already know i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i'm not getting paid by anyone so i really don't care if the product is good or not i'm gonna let y'all know the truth and nothing but the truth so i have put off filming this video for a while but it is finally time to test the new skincare products so let's get into it okay so i just i already washed my face and i just put my little skincare headband on and of course i had to take off my glasses so please bear with me if i have to get kind of close to the camera because i cannot really see what i'm doing but i feel like the first product that we have to try is the glow recipe watermelon face mask I haven't heard too many people talk about this so i have been wanting to try it for myself and that's what the packaging looks like it says that this mask is supposed to shrink the looks of pores dual exfoliate and surges the skin with moisture so we're gonna test that out right now it's more of like a clay texture it is a clay mask so i'm gonna get one of my little mask spatulas okay so i got the little spatula so we are gonna put it on i don't know how much to grab i feel like that's kind of a lot yeah that was definitely a lot I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the camera so I could see. Honestly, I kind of expected it to have a better smell, but it... It kind of smells like soggy cardboard with a hint of watermelon. <laughs> That's so sad, but I know it is a clay mask, so it's not gonna smell the best just because of the clay. So I'm gonna finish putting this on and I'll be right back. Okay, a little bit of a jump scare, but I am back. I try to make it look as cute as possible, but I feel like with face masks, I just can't make them look cute. I also thought it'd be nice if I included the prices of everything. So for this mask, it was $40, which is honestly very expensive for a face mask, in my opinion. It does feel very cooling on my skin, which is nice. Let me see how long you're supposed to leave it on. Okay, so you actually leave it on for a pretty short amount of time. I was thinking like 10 or 15 minutes. It actually says to rinse off after five minutes and for sensitive skin for two minutes so that's actually a very short amount of time but it does feel nice on my skin i'm not really a big fan of the smell of it it just kind of smells like i don't know kind of smells old but i'm not gonna judge it until i feel how my skin feels after so i'm gonna leave this on for five minutes go wash it off and then let y'all know my thoughts on it i just thought i would show y'all this is how it looks after five minutes i think thought you were supposed to wait until it completely dries but i'm definitely gonna listen to what the box says so this is what it looks like after five minutes and i'm gonna go wash it off right now okay so i went ahead and got it all washed off so my skin just looks kind of the same ignore that my face is a little red i don't blame the product i was kind of washing it off my face kind of hard my skin just reds very easily so i will say though my skin feels very dry and i have oily skin so i can only imagine if you have dry skin and use this product your skin would probably fall off because my face feels so dry right now it's not good it is nice and soft but again it's just so dry okay my honest opinion 40 dollars for this no don't ever buy this honestly this just reminds me of something you could get at the dollar store or something with this kind of results i didn't really have pores to begin with so i don't know if it really helped my pores or not because i didn't really have them to begin with I was kind of expecting to feel like, don't get me wrong, my skin feels nice, but just the dryness is the thing that's really pointing me away towards this product. And especially for $40, I feel like this has to be a life-changing product to be $40. And it's really not. So in my personal opinion,
opinion, I would not buy this again. I'm honestly thinking about returning this because I just don't see myself using this ever again. I feel like I was a little harsh on the face mask, but I just feel like for $40, it, it needs to give a little bit more and sadly it just did not. The next product we are going to be using is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. So that's what it looks like. This is the mini size. They also have a full size. Okay, so for the mini one, which is this one, it's $20 and then the full size is $40. So pretty expensive for this little thing. Also, I noticed that it kind of has stuff floating in it, which I don't know if it's supposed to have that, so that's kind of unsettling. I don't know if y'all can see, but it has like stuff that floats in there. I've heard mixed reviews on this product. I've heard some people say that this does wonders for their skin, and then I've had some reviews saying that if you have sensitive skin, to stay away from this product because it has a bunch of fragrance and alcohol, which is not good for your skin. And I have sensitive skin. <laughs> So I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought this product, but we're still gonna try it today even though I'm kind of scared. It does have a really nice scent, which I like. It smells very minty and fresh. I think I said in one of my videos, it smells like when you walk into a Lush store, which is a very accurate description. But again, I think that's just the fragrance in the product, which fragrance isn't the best thing to be putting on your skin. Okay, let's try it. Ooh. It's very minty when you spray it. Um, don't get it in your eyes because it kind of burns. Like, I think I got it in my eyes and it's kind of burning. <laughs> I don't even know what this is supposed to do. Let me check. So apparently it's a natural face mist to prep skin, immediately tighten pores, and set makeup for dewy, glowy skin. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comments if my skin looks a little bit more dewy and glowy. I will say my skin does feel nice after I sprayed this, but I am just kind of scared that the more I use this, the more that my skin's not gonna like it because I do have sensitive skin and it did start off with a burning sensation, which I do not think is okay for your skin to be burning with a skincare product so I do not think I would buy this again and I would just be very very careful with using this if you have sensitive skin I may try it a few more times but I'm not too sure so I will keep you guys updated on this but for now I don't think I would repurchase this okay next my lips are feeling a little bit dry so we are gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty plush put in I did use this in my I think my Sephora shopping video when I was showing my my haul but I'm gonna use it again for this video because I filmed that Sephora video kind of a while ago and I haven't used this since so we're gonna try it again I do have super dry lips so I usually just stick to my Laneige lip mask or Aquaphor is super good or my Summer Fridays but you kind of just twist up and then it just comes out the top okay so that's what it looks like on and this is $22 and it says that it's a lip mask with a plush pudding like texture that coats lips with supercharged moisture for a smoother, firmer, and plumper looking pout in one week. I really don't like that it's unscented. I wish it had a scent because I feel like lip balms are just so much nicer if they have a scent. But I understand some people might not like scents on their lip balm. So if you don't, you would probably love this product. But personally me, I love getting that scent of the lip balm. It just makes me want to keep up applying it so I could smell it. I feel like this is just an average lip mask. There's nothing to love or hate about it. It's doing what it needs to do. My lips feel very moisturized and nice, but I also feel like this has the same exact effects as Aquaphor, and especially because it doesn't have a scent, it reminds me of Aquaphor so much more. But again, it's doing everything that a lip mask needs to do. I just feel like if you're looking into buying this, I would just go with regular Aquaphor. It's much better priced and it does the same thing, but yeah. Okay, next step in the skincare routine is serums. So I actually have three to try today and they're all from Glow Recipe. I don't know why, I guess I was just kind of on a Glow Recipe kick and I just have always wanted to try some of their products so I thought now's the time. So I'm first gonna start with the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. 
and that's what it looks like. Apparently this is supposed to be good for red and irritated skin, which I wouldn't say my skin is necessarily irritated, but I do have just random spikes of redness that I get. So I thought that this might help with that. Oh my gosh, I had no idea this was $45 for this little tiny thing. And it says this is a skin barrier strengthening serum formulated with ceramides and antioxidant rich avocado to help soothe and visibly reduce redness, dryness, and irritation caused by a weak skin barrier. But again, $45, I need this to be liquid gold. So let's go ahead and try this. Maybe that's why we don't apply it straight to our face. It's very runny, which I didn't expect. I kind of expected it to have the same consistency as the glow drops, but this one is very, very liquidy. Okay, so that's what it looks like on. I will say it did have a nice cooling effect when I was applying it to my skin, but it I think because it was so liquidy, it kind of left like a greasy type of feeling, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I definitely want to keep trying this and see if it improves my redness or not. For now, I'm obsessed with my Tower 28 collection. Their SOS line is just perfect for redness and irritation. So if you're going to pick the Tower 28 or this one, I would definitely go with the Tower 28. I don't want to knock this before I try it. I want to go ahead and continue to use it and see if it actually does improve improve my skin barrier and my redness and I will definitely keep y'all updated. Next product is the Glow Recipe Pomegranate Peptide Firming Serum. I have been so excited to try this. I think it's such a nice product and the packaging is so pretty. So this one is actually $45 as well. And it says this is a firming lifting serum made with polypeptides, hyaluronic acid, and pomegranate to target fine lines and wrinkles and deliver a hydrated lifted appearance. And I'm just reading everything off my iPad. This is the Sephora website and it's just a description of the product on the website. But let's go ahead and try this. It's kind of like a murky white. The avocado one was just like white. It does smell really nice. I really like the smell of this one. Okay, so that's what my skin looks like after. Very dewy, very glowy. I'm gonna have to say the same thing about this one. I don't want to knock it before I try it. Apparently this is supposed to improve fine lines and wrinkles. Obviously, I don't have that right now, but I heard that you're supposed to use anti-aging products while you're still young. So I'm going to keep trying this, see if I like it or not, and definitely let you guys know. And then the last serum we have to try today is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. I have heard such good things about these, and this is also one of the things I was the most excited to try. This is the bottle. So these are $32, which is better than $45, but still more on the pricey side. And it says this is an all-in-one silicone-free primer and serum that visibly refines pores over time while immediately blurring the look of skin and absorbing oil for a natural, soft focus satin finish. I love that description, so we're going to see if that's what it actually does. And I love that this is like a primer and a skincare... Did y'all see that? Okay, like I was saying, I shook it up a little. It's very liquidy, as we saw. So I'm just going to use very little. But I love that it says that it is a primer and a serum, which I think is so neat. I've never seen anything like that. It smells so good. It smells like strawberries. And it does feel a lot thicker than the previous two serums I just used. It's also really sticky, which I think would be good for your makeup. So that's what it looks like. I'm getting really close to the camera so you guys could get a good look at my pores. So I should have did a before and after. I forgot. I'm so sorry. But that's what they're looking like. Again, I don't really think I had pores to begin with, but... I will say I really like this product. It actually shocked me. I'd love to see how it wears under makeup, so I'm definitely going to update y'all about that. But so far, I have no complaints. I think it left my skin looking very pretty, and I just love the way that my skin is looking right now. I'll have to see how this holds up, but for now, I think I would buy this again. I have been wanting to try this product for so long, and today's finally the day. The Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops. That's what the box looks like. I've heard so many mixed reviews on these. Some people love them, some people hate them. We're gonna find out today. 
I feel like my skin already looks pretty glowy and I wasn't gonna buy these until I went in Sephora one day and I was just shopping around with my boyfriend and I put these on my hand like on my wrist and I rubbed them in and then I just forgot about it and then I looked back at my wrist and my wrist looked so pretty and glittery and I was like oh my gosh I need to go back and pick those up so we're gonna try it today i feel like it'd be really nice to just use as a highlight or just to use all over your face i'm gonna use it for all over my face today but we're gonna be very light with it because i know that these can be a little bit overpowering so i'm just gonna squeeze them on the highlight points of my face and then i think i'm just gonna do a little bit on my nose and that's all i'm gonna do Okay, so I blended them all out. Honestly, I am not seeing that much of a difference. Let me know in the comments if y'all see a difference, but I feel like my face was already pretty glowy to begin with. So these are $38, and this is an illuminating serum with 5% niacinamide that adds an easy golden finish while evening skin tones, improving clarity and radiance. Um, I do see kind of a subtle glow when I go into the light, which I think is nice, but for $38, I feel like there's so many dupes out there. I feel like the Say Super Glowy Gel and the Star Glow is a really good option. I don't know, I'm gonna keep using these and see if I like them or not, but for now, they're just not really doing anything for me, so... As of right now, I would not repurchase these. Okay, next we need moisturizer. So I went ahead and picked up the Glossier Priming Moisturizer, which is rich. It's a luxurious face cream. I've never tried Glossier products before, but honestly, when I saw this packaging, I just wanted to try it because it is so pretty. I love the baby pink lid, but I know being realistic, we have to know if it's good or not. So let's go ahead and try it. So this is $35. I don't know why I remember it being more expensive than that, but it's $35. And then this is a rich, fast-absorbing priming moisturizer that reinforces skin's moisture barrier and visibly enhances radiance for a clean, dewy, balanced-looking finish. And look at this. Look at how perfect that is. That is so cute. But this is also super neat because it's a primer and a moisturizer, so you don't even need a primer with this. Oh my gosh, it's very thick. Very thick. So if you don't like thick moisturizers, you might not like this. So let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, so I have it all mixed in. I literally feel like a glazed donut right now. Like, I am so glowy. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the glazed donut look, but I don't know. Today, I think it looks really nice on my skin. I think just putting a little bit of powder on my face, I would be ready to take on the day. I think this looks really pretty. I actually really like this. And the last product that we have to try is the Glow Recipe. Are y'all surprised that it's another Glow Recipe item? It's the Glow Recipe Plum Plump hyaluronic gloss balm so this is supposed to be a lip balm and a gloss mixed together i do still have the fenty one on which i think is really nice because i've been talking for quite a while and my lips still feel moisturized which i think is really nice but i'm gonna go ahead and take off the fenty one and use this one i've heard mixed reviews about this i've heard that it's just an ordinary lip balm but i have always wanted to try this so we're gonna try it today okay so this is 22 dollars, which is the same price as the fenty one and it says this is a non-sticky hyaluronic acid infused gloss balm for long lasting hydration and a juicy high shine finish so let's go ahead and see the only thing i really don't like is that it doesn't come with like a spatula so you kind of just have to dip your finger in it and that's what it looks like it smells really nice so let's see yeah, I don't like dipping my finger in that, but... Okay, so that's what it looks like on. I will be honest, I think I like this one just a little bit more than the Fenty one. I like the applicator of the Fenty better, but I like how this one feels and looks better. I like that it's a little bit more thin and... I don't know, I just think I like this one better. Now, do I think you need it? No, I think there's a lot of great lip balms on the market that are very similar to this one. Again, I'm gonna bring up Aquaphor. Aquaphor is just so good. I don't know, it's just an average lip balm, but I kind of like it, so I think I would possibly buy this again. Okay guys, we finally made it through the skincare routine. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to be as brutally honest as I could. Again, there's no hate to any of the brands of these products. These are just my personal opinions. And just keep in mind what works for me may not work for you. And this is just all in good fun. I just wanted to try out some skincare products today. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed. So if you guys didn't see, this is how the finished skincare look came out. I think it looks so nice. I really feel like a donut from Krispy Kreme right now. I feel like I will incorporate some of these into my everyday skincare routine. And I will definitely be updating you guys on what's worth it and what's not the more that I continue to use these products. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And yeah, bye guys. Thank you.